And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2017 Japan. Survival Wars 2017. At Kodakuen Hall, we've got a packed arena here. Ready for this action to get started. In the red corner, Hitoshi Sugimoto taking on in the blue, Rui. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. And let's see what happens in the ring tonight. Yeah, we got some heavyweight action here in this next bout. Okay, so some big, shocking blows, hopefully. We got the big boys. We got a real big boy here in his K1 debut, Rui. 193 centimeters. Wow. That's a long reach, man. Taking on my boy, uh, who I have to train with. I train with both these guys, but I've done a lot of training with Sugimoto. Big fan of his, real nice guy. Um, and real technical fighter, too. Loves the high kick. Which I've been tasting on many occasions. And receiving and, uh, Wow, what a. What, wow. These, yeah, these guys, man. Massive dudes. Yeah, these are big boys. Louis, uh, Louis's done a lot of his fighting down in Fukuoka. Um, just a big, long, tall southpaw. And moves really well for the division. Sumimoto, you know, one of the smaller guys in this weight division out here. Um, but because, you know, what he lacks in size, he has to make up for in technique, and he certainly, certainly does. Yeah, yeah. In fact, Sugimoto, he was eight wins, six of them were by knockout. Wow. A lot of those, he, he, scores, he scores with the high kick. He's going it up 193 centimeters. Yeah, he's got to watch out because Rui um, likes to bring the knees upstairs. Yes, yeah, uh, he already threw one early in the uh, early in this round. Mm -hmm. It'll be dangerous. So far, both fighters, lots of kicks going on. Oof. Oof. Yeah, you know, this is a different game uh, when you're when you're fighting at these heavier weight classes. Um, it, it's, you know, you eat, a, you eat two or three solid leg kicks in a row, and you've already accumulated a ton of damage. Yeah, yeah. You eat a hard body shot. Like, the stakes are just, it's just a different game when your opponent could touch your chin once and put you to sleep. Yeah. yeah. And it can happen at every weight class, but particularly in yeah, the heavyweight division. The heavyweight division, um, you just you have to be really careful. You know they're working. Ooh. He put some good pressure on there. Just yeah. a combination of strikes to walk in the corner. I think kind of backing off the pressure. Yeah. Pick it up. Sugimoto's really been working Rui's front leg yeah. with the low kicks. If he continues, I see. Yeah, what's well, real, uh, real tough when I do work with Sugimoto? What's I, he's so relaxed and patient the whole time. Um, it, it, it almost kind of throws you off a little bit. He's not expending a lot of energy and so sometimes you think oh, he's not kicking as hard as he could but it's the accumulation of damage um, and he just hits the same spot every time he finishes his combos and once again i always harp on this he finishes his good punch combos with low kicks and mid kicks right there and it just builds up and it's really hard to deal with you can't get your rhythm Look at this, he's marching, marching the big hand down. Ooh, some big shots here in the final, the end of the first round. Oh my gosh, right yeah. down to the buzz, right down to the bell. Yeah, wow. Really there at the end. Yeah, yeah. Well, and Sugimoto doing a good job too of saving his energy, putting the pedal to the metal uh, right at the end there, and leaving that lasting impression with the judges, because that's yeah. what that's going to do. That's what going to show up on the, uh, on the card. Yeah, fun to, fun to watch. And you know, probably great for the fans here as well um, to see some of this heavyweight action. Some real, uh, some two athletic heavyweights as yeah, well. Yeah. Punch and kick. And you see here in Sugimoto's corner, he's got the Silver Wolf team. So going into the second round, what do you think uh, both fighters are going to bring? Sugimoto built some great momentum there at the end. Yeah. Um, his work with his hands, I mean, he, he punches so smoothly and then finishes with kicks. And then I, I liked when he put the pressure there. I think a little more pressure from Sugimoto. Knew he had a moment earlier in the wow. round. Yeah, he did push up, back yeah. in the corner. He didn't really take advantage yeah, of it. So, he's got to kind of capitalize 
and then protect the lead leg. Sugimoto's gonna be hunting for the inside and outside of the Louis, um, yeah, front leg. And he's just pinpointing that, that kick. It's like a little mosquito, just it's like a giant mosquito. <laughs> I'll make, I'll make sure to let him know. <laughs> Kick me in the head. <laughs> but, uh, you, but, I mean, you're, you're right. As he's sticking on it, it's annoying. It's, it's constantly there. We had one in our house at night. Oh! Uh, yeah, holy cow. Out of nowhere. Jeez. Well, and this is what we were just talking about. Um, wow. I'll oh, see his leg there. Yeah. As well. Oh, it swelled up. Yeah, yeah. He was All he had to do was touch the chin, man, and there you go. So uh, even a little annoying mosquito can serve up a big KO, and he gets another KO. Good on Sugimoto. Happy to see him get the victory there in fantastic style. Louis, Louis feeling that one. But yeah, great showing from both these heavyweight guys. It's fun to see him do it, man. I. I hope K1 can keep putting together these big um, heavyweight Ooh, matches. What a combo. Uh, yeah. What a combo. Didn't even bring his leg back down. Just boop. See, I thought he had already landed. That's sneaky, man. Yeah. Wow, that's a that's a great little combo. And you know what made that happen? Was his posture. He could not have generated that power without having beautiful balance on his base leg. Yeah, yeah. Man, that was man, that, excellent punch. There's a great angle on the camera there because yeah, I yeah. did not see it like that before. That's a really good combo right there. Sugimoto just nonchalant and happy. Well, there you have it at K1 World Grand Prix 2017 Japan Survival Wars 2017 at the Kodakuen Hall. Catch you next time.